Today is February 27th. It's a nice Saturday here in Atlanta. What's in the top 10 plays this morning? And um, the first one they show is um, a really nice play by uh, this player here as he's timing this jump just right. Now, what's interesting here is that number 24 in the dark jersey has got a position on the floor. And the rules say in high school basketball, since there's no restricted area, that any player, every player is entitled to any spot on the court provided they get there first without illegally contacting an opponent. Some people say, well, what's this play? Well, but it was such a nice play. Now, this guy here, he was getting ready to jump, and all of a sudden, he feels this knee in his back. And in um, white number 30 goes up, or is that 20, and does a nice dunk. But what about number, what was that, 14 or 24 there? This is, oh, this is on the back, definitely on the back. And he just destroys this guy. 24 is his number. And the reason he has to grasp the ring is for protection. Because he knocked people down and put people under him. This official here is definitely looking up. Got a good view of it, so he's seeing everything. Number 20, White, came out of the center position's primary coverage area. He's watching it, got a good view. And I'm not sure where this play is from, but that's not important. What's important is that number 20, White, committed a foul. And in the NBA, they would call it a loose ball foul. But he does this and drives this kid to the floor. And this kid was in better position for the rebound than this guy. But because it was such a elevated play above the ring, everybody ruled that. As Ill, as legal, legal activity. If you were in the game, do you have this as legal? Participate, let's see what you gave us. Oh, Napoleon's Brett Law. Slamming this one home, and Napoleon beat Tiffin Columbia in six 